you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 19th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 19 verses 41 to 44 as he came near and saw the city he wept over it saying if you even you had only recognized on this day the things that make for peace but now they are hidden from your eyes indeed the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you and hem you in on every side they will crush you to the ground you and your children within you and they will not leave within you one stone upon another because you did not recognize the time of your visitation from god the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ my dear friends jesus is now on the last stage of his mission he approaches jerusalem which will be the scene for the last great act of his life his passion death resurrection from here too will rise up in the new community <coughs> founded in his name commissioned to continue the work he had started as he approaches the city he weaves over its tragic end he implies that if the city had received him as lord and king it might have not met the fact that was in store for it if only you had known the path to peace this day but you have completely lost it from view the second half of the word jerusalem means peace shalom the city had not known the path to peace which of course was that uh, which led to jesus the prince of peace and the source of all peace in our lives and it has hardly known peace since that time especially where the jewish people are concerned the rest of the passage is prophesying of what in fact is going to happen in the city but of course it was the roman who destroyed the city and it's a huge temple one of the wonders of the ancient world was reduced to rain the temple was ransacked and its most precious ornaments including the seven branched candlestick were carried off all of uh, this is sculpturally recorded in the triumphal arch of titus erected in rome to commemorate his victory and which can be seen in the forum to this day with the destruction of the temple the jews faith was dealt a serious blow from which it may be said it has never fully recovered no temple has ever taken its place for it is felt it can only be on the same scattered site in jerusalem unfortunately for the jews a mask stands on the site today and is not likely to be removed all that is left are herod's temple is the wailing wall where jews go to lament their lost glory for us christians there is no exclusive holy place although certain places are of the special significance to us but as paul reminds us each baptist person is a temple of the spirit and is to act as such and be respected as such whoever two or three are gathered wherever together in my name there i am in the midst of them jesus told his disciples such a gathering may be at a solemn papal mass in the magnificent basilica of saint peter's in rome or it may be christian gathering secretly in prayer in a labor camp in china it does not matter it is a closeness to christ and to each other that matters and not the place amen may god bless us